So we have just received some breaking news from the CEO of the world's fourth largest car maker, Stellantis, about the severity of the EV battery shortage. He's essentially warning us that the supply of raw materials to make lithium ion batteries might not be able to keep up with the demand for EVs this decade. But obviously, since we haven't even seen heavy duty electric vehicles fully be on the road just yet, this is certainly a cause for concern about the economics of battery EVs. And this right here is exactly where the lucrative opportunity of hydrogen technology really starts to shine. So in this video, I'm going to react to the opinions of one of the most well-respected engineers in the EV industry, Sandy Monroe, to hear his thoughts on the oh so popular debate between hydrogen and batteries. But before we get into it, guys, make sure to drop me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So the first thing I want to start off with is analyzing the concerns that Stellantis' CEO raised about the future of the EV industry, specifically talking about lithium ion cell capacity and raw materials. So essentially what he's talking about is the fact that down the line in 2025, we could start seeing very big constraints in the supply of lithium and cobalt to make the battery packs to power electric vehicles. As you can see, the demand for lithium in lithium ion batteries is not only being accelerated by EVs, but it's also needed significantly in stationary storage, consumer electronics, and obviously industrial, pharmaceutical, and other sorts of applications. And as you can see, because of that, we've already started to see the lithium price index skyrocket right alongside the boom in EV sales. But although this is going to be solved by adding more capacity locally in the US for producing and mining lithium, this is still a very big cause of concern because we still have a massive industry yet to decarbonize in semi trucks, boats, and obviously aircraft. And this right here is exactly where hydrogen fuel cells can play a very critical role in helping accelerating and reducing these strains on our supply chains. But you don't need to just take my word for it. Let's hear Sandy Monroe's own arguments against battery technologies for semi trucks and the critical role that hydrogen can play in the long term of the heavy duty trucking industry. Um, is hydrogen technology losing steam this year or, or things are happening behind the scenes? Well, I think that things are happening behind the scenes, but not in cars. Um, I've never been a fan of hydrogen as far as uh, a car is concerned. I just don't think it's the right thing to do. I don't think it's the right way to go. And um, uh, Honda and Toyota and others, GM especially, put a lot of money into hydrogen vehicles. And to me, I just, I don't get it. But when you start taking a look at things like heavy trucks, class A, anything from a class six to a class eight truck, I think that's got legs. And whether it uses, um, uh, whether it uses the solid state uh, hydrogen, um, uh, or, it, or they use bottles or refueling stations. Yeah, I think that the real advantage uh, to, um, or the real advantage for hydrogen would be in the heavy trucks, VTOLs, and I will tell you there's a ton of work going on right now with hydrogen as a fuel for, uh, for heavy aircraft because when you start looking at aircraft, uh, jet aircraft, um, the, they're the biggest polluters on the planet. They, uh, they spew out more garbage than you could possibly imagine. They're terribly inefficient. So uh, I, think that, um, I think that maybe something like that would work for them if they can still get the same speed and, and power and that sort of stuff. Um, but I, I can tell you that um, Nikola, yes, they, uh, they're electric vehicles, no question about it. Their electric trucks are working um, out there already. They're, they're out in um, Oxnard and LA uh, docks uh, doing their thing. Um, but I also know that they have the, uh, the fuel cells and, um, and I've seen the battery packs and whatnot and it would, everything tells me that they're, they're going to go in that direction. Um, so yeah, I think that that's, that's going to happen. So you're saying the industry will be split. Um, consumer cars will be all electric, uh, all battery yeah. powered and yeah. the heavy industry, you know, will be, will be hydrogen and that's just how yeah. we're going to live. Yes. And that, that would probably also include ships. Um, uh, I know that uh, there's a lot of people that we've been talking to that are uh, not in the ship category. So anything like a, around 100 feet or more, that's probably going to be 
that'll still be other stuff, but, um, but smaller. And especially if they've got lighter duty, so shorter runs and stuff like that, fishing trawlers, things like that. I can see that as being a, a, a prime way to move, um, move fishing trawlers would be with um, hydrogen uh, fuel cells, which convert, of course, into electricity. Now, is that still a struggle between the battery uh, batteries and hydrogen in terms of the you know, um, industry uh, transportation? Or do you think it's a sure thing? Like, where are we at with that? Uh, is that possible for the you know, battery still win? Of course, it's uh, I, I can see uh, I can see them in both cases, and it, again, it all goes back to math. Um, it all goes back to a business case. So if I have short runs, um, I'm not gonna. Why should I waste my time with uh, with uh, with hydrogen? I mean, if it's a short run, less than uh, less than four or five hundred miles, why, why would I waste my time? Uh, I'll just go with batteries. If they're long haul, uh, now I've got a whole different scenario. I'm not gonna sit there. And uh, that's a lot of batteries to fill up, and you're not going to swap those out. But I can swap out the bottles for my hydrogen. I can do that in, in like record time. That those pop out as fast as you can catch them. So I think that uh, I think that it's just a different business scenario. And the business scenario for hydrogen is long haul, and the business scenario for batteries is short haul. So right here, Sandy is essentially validating the argument that someone like myself has been saying about the hydrogen industry. For a very long time which is a fact that every single use case is going to be tailored by technology for regular passenger vehicles lithium-ion batteries are going to make perfect sense because of their low weight low duty cycle and often low power requirements but the key is that once you move into heavier duty applications where uptime is very important hydrogen fuel cells can make a lot more sense because not only will you need to pack in a lot of lithium ion battery cells due to their low energy density but that's also going to eat up into the payload that the truck is going to be able to carry because of the excess weight and obviously that doesn't even account for the fact that refueling is a much more practical solution in the hydrogen industry than with a battery solution and if you pair that with the fact that over the lifespan, a battery will have to be replaced significantly more than a hydrogen fuel cell system, there is a significant carbon footprint reduction you can have by using a hydrogen fuel cell system. And obviously, since the energy density of a fuel cell is much higher than a battery, you're going to naturally need less of that fuel cell to get the same amount of power output, which in turn is obviously going to require less raw materials. And that right there, I think, is a key advantage that many people tend to overlook when comparing hydrogen to batteries. Each technology is going to have their own application, but in the heavier duty applications, it seems like hydrogen fuel cells could provide a sustained benefit. But anyways, guys, make sure to drop me a thumbs up if you found some value from this video. Let me know down in the comments section below your guys' thoughts on what Sandy Monroe said and the entire debate around hydrogen and batteries. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.